Hello everyone, uh, here's the list of people, how I start every video these days, the list of people that helped get me started in 3D printing that taught me what I needed to know to get started when I knew nothing. So I'm very thankful to all of them, some great YouTubers. Uh, I haven't shown myself in a video for a while, so here's my ugly mug again. Uh, just make you look at it for a second so you know who I am. Then let's dive into the video. This is short and sweet. We're talking about how do you orient uh, miniatures that are very flat or just consist of planes basically. I mean this is really simple stuff. I just want to make sure no one messes this up. So the first thing we're going to do is I know everyone tilts their models these days. Right? No one's going to print this flat to the plate. We know far better than that already. So we're going to tilt it at a nice angle to make sure that we don't have that we're not on the plate. Um, also we don't have too much suction coming off so we don't want to support it flat. Because if we support it flat, it will just create a ton of suction. The model will probably fail. So we're going to go and tilt it. But the one thing we don't want to do with a model like this, and here you can see the hole. I'm showing you here that if you don't tilt it, the whole bottom basically is going to print at once, which would mean you'd have to have supports covering everywhere. It would just be incredibly stupid and probably fail anyway. So we're going to tilt it up just enough. You can see once you tilt it even a little bit and then you deconstruct the model, there is no place on that door where there's a huge flat plane that's going to cause a lot of suction so that's fine but if we just go and support it now which I'm sure a lot of people might do especially using auto supports which you guys know I hate the whole bottom layer there is printing at once which really doesn't make any sense it's not that it's going to create huge suction or anything but you have to basically support every pixel there or almost every pixel so you don't have some little failures so all you have to do to fix this is just tilted on the other axis so we tilted it on one axis already right and now all we're going to do is tilt it on another axis so we create a what i call lowest point on the model and that as you know from my other videos is what you're going to use to anchor your entire model so the key place is now that bottom uh, right corner on the screen and you can see i deconstruct so you can see it's absolutely going to print first so we know we put our heavy supports right in that corner and bunch them up going to help support the rest of the model as we go so obviously I'm not going to show myself supporting the whole model that would be pretty pointless but I am just showing you know how I start since I do even these manually I uh, get my heavies you're not going to see this this is the underside of a table so I'm going to you know s support this whole bottom side with heavies because any damage here is really meaningless totally meaningless so and then after we get rid of some I can't help myself right I see some islands I have to click supports there even though <laughs> this is just an illustration so uh, you want to make sure that on a model like this though there's gonna be islands going all the way up this side because the low point of each board actually uh, comes to this side so um, I'm just showing you here make sure if that's the case you support every single one of those edge pieces because that's you know gonna support the rest of the model you don't want obviously any failures especially on a silly little print like this uh, so that's all I'm going to show you here really because you don't need to see the rest of the supports after this Now the next model is actually Simple as this all is the next model is actually a little complicated in that once you tilt it Okay, now we know we need to tilt, you know the other orientation because again this whole thing's going to print flat but because there's a big space and then another plane uh, the rest of that second when it gets to the second level that whole line would print so here the first line would print and then as you went up 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 this whole line would print at once too so if you don't tilt it in the other orientation if you've done the x you need to do the y if you've done the y you need to do the x because otherwise you have to support that entire second level as well so once we just give it a little tilt here it creates two effective low points on the model one there and then as you go higher up one on the other side so you can see here I'll mouse over it and show you yes we're gonna we have the lowest point on absolute lowest point on the model so we support the hell out of it but on the when you get to what I call in this model the quote-unquote second level there's another low point so you have to make sure you support the hell out of that low point as well and that's really about it for this video I just wanted to show you that when you have flat when you have planar subs um, planar models and you want to just make sure you make always tilt on two axes before you support so you, you don't wind up with a failure on a model that's so simple you should really never ever have any kind of failure on it at all but also on something like this with a, which has wood texture also make sure you look at those edges for islands because they, they do crop up
So that's it for this video. I have, of course, a lot more advanced stuff in my other videos, so please like, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.